it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. Today we're going to be doing an HTV project. It's still going, you know, with my new Cricut hack. I'm going to talk about this after we heat this up. But I just wanted to show you from the beginning. So I am using Poly, um, Poly Tapes HTV. This is one of my favorites. It's um, part of their Poly Flex uh, line. So I'm going to look it up. I love their um, I love their HTV. Um, no lie, <laughs> no exaggeration. This, you know, like um, anytime that I use Cricut's like foil or their special HTV pieces, I never know if I'm gonna if it's gonna take one take or three takes uh, from cutting it to weeding it to actually pressing it. It doesn't always adhere. I have issues with it. So I love that Polytape and I, we found each other because I absolutely love their stuff. All right, so for Polyflex image, and you can see I have I have all of my stuff, all of my notes, um, 320 degrees. So I'm gonna uh, turn this on. And you know, I hardly ever, I don't, I don't do a lot of HTV projects, especially on clothes. I do a lot of HTV projects on cardstock and fun things like that. But on clothes, I've kind of just stepped away from it a little bit. So for 320 degrees, this is the machine that I got on Amazon. You're gonna hit temperature until it blinks. And then once it blinks, mine is currently at 370. I'm gonna lower the temperature to 320. So I'm gonna hit the down bar until it gets to 320. And then I'm gonna hit temperature. So my temperature is set. Okay. Then I'm gonna hit time and until it blinks. And then once it blinks, this is going on for 15 seconds. So I'm going to go down to 15 seconds, hold down on time, and now I'm good. So once it will beep, once it gets going. So let's talk about this little guy right here. So um, in case you missed the other um, tutorials on this, this is my HTV hack, okay? When you have a very intricate design like the mandalas, you've seen those videos where people are weeding for like three hours and then they do a time lapse and it's super cool, right? I don't have the patience for that. Um, it's not therapeutic for me. I know it is for some. I really just want to be done. Like I gave it a shot yesterday on the owl and I didn't like it. So what you want to do is for something like this, where it's really, really detailed and it's all one piece, right? It just feels like cardstock, right? Like a really intricate cut, all one piece. You cut it so that it cuts through your carrier sheet. Normally we don't want that because we want that carrier sheet to keep all our pieces in place. But because this is one piece, we don't need that. You cut it through and what happens is when you go to peel it off your mat, it's gonna look like this. Or I'm gonna put it right here for you. All your weeded parts are gonna stay on the mat and when you pull it off, you're done. There is no weeding. So that's the beauty of this hack. Tell me that's not an amazing hack. All right, I'm gonna put this on a sweatshirt for me because it is the Lunar New Year, February 1st, and I was born the year of the tiger, and this is a tiger mandala. I just think it looks super, super cool. So this is heating up. What else can I tell you? I can show you the owl that I will be doing after this. So I'll do a different tutorial on this one. Look at this beautiful owl. It's craziness, right? This owl took over an hour to cut. Um, the hour that I spent weeding yesterday on a smaller piece, which um, I say smaller, like it shouldn't mean anything, but sometimes maybe smaller is harder. I mean, I would have to weed the same amount of pieces, but these were really, really small. So you can kind of see this was after an hour and I really don't want to finish it actually. So I still have the wings right here and then the whole, almost the whole face. And I think I'm going to allow myself to call this like a, a test sample or, you know, like a sample evidence. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it partially weeded. I, yeah, I really just no interest in it. I've already wasted an hour on that. Um, so yeah. And then I'm actually, uh, let's see, uh, it's still heating. What else can I talk to you about? The whole reason why I got to this 
this idea is because I'm doing a bell project, an off the mat bell, and um, I wanna use HTV on a lot of it. So that's why I was over cutting so that the pieces I thought would be easier for me to handle and to put down on the, cause I'm going to be ironing onto the, the exact cardstock piece. So if it's her face, for instance, I'm gonna have her face in regular cardstock and then I'm actually gonna use the HTV onto the cardstock. So because it's an exact match, I thought if I overcut and I don't have any excess transfer paper, like the sticky transfer paper, that it would be easier for me to line it up and to keep it lined up. Because it's easy to line things up, but then you, you know, remove your fingers from the stickiness and things start to shift, right? And then I have to put the heat press down and I feel like it could shift a little bit. I thought it would be easier for me to manage if I didn't have any sticky piece. Um, and just so you know, when the carrier sheet is on top of your HTV, it literally feels like cardstock because if you think about how stiff that paper is, um, there's nothing sticky, right? So it, it, it feels like, um, yeah, it just feels like stiff cardstock. So it's really, really easy to handle and it's just so nice. I like, I'm so excited because I saw Stephanie from, I'm gonna look up her, her IG handle because um, I have a hard time remembering IG, IG handles because, um, you know, you start to type it in and then it auto populates because it's somebody that you always look at or you're friends with. Steph Crafting Rain. She did this owl, this big owl, um, I think months ago and it looked gorgeous, but I knew I didn't want to do it, <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> it's a hack. Um, so yeah, super excited about that. So anyway, Belle is coming up with that. Um, I know while this is heating, I can kind of have your attention and we can talk about things. Um, I have an expo this month with Polytape at the Long Beach Convention Center. And we will, you need to be on Instagram because we're gonna go live on Saturday. Give me a second, I'm gonna pull out my calendar. So this is the year 2022, <laughs> in case this video lasts longer than that. Okay, oh, here's my, um, it's gonna be on January 22nd. We haven't decided on a time, but it's gonna be somewhere between like 11 and 2 p.m. Pacific. I will narrow down the time, don't worry. I'm not gonna give you that window like I'm Best Buy's delivery team or something. But um, we'll definitely have a time this week, we'll figure it out, but it's for that date and you have to be on the live. We're giving away five different prizes throughout that hour. So it's a really good chance to win because you actually have to be on the live. Um, so we're doing that. I'm also gonna be going live on Friday as well and probably Thursday, because on Thursday, it looks like I get a chance to go with David May, who's doing the custom shoe. I don't know if you've, seen, I've talked about him a little bit on my Instagram account. He uses the Cricut and he'll get like a pair of Nike Air Jordans or something like that. Uh, I don't, I'm not a sneaker head, so you'll have to excuse me on that. But he takes a pair of Nikes and then he goes all out customizing it, using a lot of it with the Cricut. So it's super cool. I saw his feed and just thought, oh my gosh, I wanna get to know you because this is so cool. And then it turns out, I reached out to him and just to let him know I'm a fan. And we started talking and we thought, okay, we need to collaborate. And we decided to collaborate to fundraise for Together We Rise. Together We Rise is a foster or a foster advocate organization. So they work with foster kids, um, just making, improving their lives. So one of the things that they do, and I didn't know this, um, but it's general practice that when kids go from their home to this foster care unit or to a foster care home, they're basically given two trash bags to put all their belongings in. So, you know, just symbolic wise, like to, to put what your valuables are in a trash bag to carry to the next place. It's sort of like you're bringing your trash, you know? So they instead will give each one of these foster kids a sweet case. So it's a suitcase, but it's a sweet case because it's filled with stuff that they would need. Um, but 
you know, I thought from a crafting community, how amazing would it be for us to make those sweet cases even sweeter? And they also, they have these birthday boxes that I just found out about that, you know, I mean, I know so many party decor people, right? Like I do a ton of that stuff. I would love to be able to include, I don't know, like a little shaker or something. These kids, I, I feel like anything that we do extra that's personal makes it all, you know, makes it better for them. Um, one of the things that, that really hit home for me is they'll take these kids shopping and some of these kids have never been shopping. They don't even know their size. They don't know what size to even, uh, to start with, to even go try it on. Like that whole experience is just a new uncharted territory. I mean, it's, it's sad, right? Like we take that for granted. I've take my daughter out shopping and you know she doesn't even care like it's not fun right she'd rather I just buy it for her kind of thing um so anyway uh I'm super excited to be teaming up with them um for as long as I can see in the future right um I have a lot of projects that I want to do for them this year but that first one is going to be February so uh David and I and Polly Tape we're getting together so we're raising money to, um, you know, for we, Together We Rise. And for every donation that you make, um, is a chance to win. And we're not capping it or we're not putting a minimum on it. We, you know, together between Polytape, myself, like all of you guys and your audience, we have a reach of, I don't know, like 100,000 people. And so if we even just donate a dollar, right, I feel like we can make a huge difference. So whatever it is that you can afford, I know we just went through the holidays. So we, you know, extended it to, to start in February. So hopefully everyone has just a little bit to spare. Uh, but anyway, the, the prize is, so if you donate, you're entered into this raffle, the raffle winner will get a custom shoe from David, which is awesome. I can't wait to show you. He's doing a custom shoe for myself and he's doing one for Polytape for this expo. So I can't wait to show you what that will look like, but you can follow his feed now. It is, and again, I don't know, hold on. DJ, like a DJ, music DJ. DJ May 1976, 1976. So DJ May, M-A-Y. 1976. You can see the kind of stuff he makes. Super, super cool. Uh, from Polytape, they're going to um, raffle off a Cricut and, of course, HTV materials. Myself, I know, I'm like, uh, it's kind of like embarrassing. Um, I'm going to do a custom off the mat, whatever you want, whether it's your avatar, a uh, character, uh, whatever. I'm open. I That's all I could throw in there. <laughs> so anyway, that's coming up, um, but I, oh, I went off on a tangent. I'm going to go live sometime this month at Together We Rise. We get to tour their headquarters. Um, they're moving, and what's cool is in their new headquarters, there's actually going to be like a shop. So these kids who are graduating through the system, uh, when they hit that milestone, they're actually going to shop for new clothes, like in this, like, area at the headquarters so we get to tour that i would love for us as a crafting community to maybe um do some personal htv designs that you know we we could give them a press and then they can press things onto the t-shirt if that's what these kids want i don't know i just want to give them options of things that that may look really cool for them so um and if they smile like it's totally worth it so anyway so i'm gonna go live at together we rise with david super excited about that uh i'm gonna go live at the convention just to show you what a convention looks like i have actually i started crafting and then shortly after that the pandemic hit so like i've actually never been to a craft show myself um I'm going to be working the booth for Polytape, so I'm excited that my first time doing an expo is also as a um, as a speaker, like not a speaker in the whole show, but like for their booth, I'll be like a subject matter expert, but I'm not a subject matter expert in HTV. I'm just kind of showing them <laughs> how I use HTV, how I weirdly use HTV. Um, so I will be going live for that as well as 
for Saturday when we actually give away stuff. Oh my God, my H my machine is at 321. We're almost there. I know you guys are just patiently listening to me. Um, so it needs to get to 320. Oh, that's weird that it didn't beep. It's at 321. Okay, so I'm gonna move it to the side and I'm actually gonna record this too on my phone if you don't mind. Okay, so I'm moving this to the side, okay? I'm gonna put my hooded sweatshirt down and I'm lining this up by using the pocket because it's like that front pocket thing. So I'm going to line this up. I'm going to make sure that everything is flat in here. I feel something right here. It must be the strings. I'm pulling it out. Okay. Okay, so it's super straight. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna get this here so that we can get... Woo, all right. Let's add this little guy down. So I'm using the hooded part right here, or the, where the pocket is, and I'm gonna line it up that way. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, and make sure everything's laying flat. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in. Actually, I'm gonna put, hold on. I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet. sure nothing moved okay I'll put this down and go okay so this is a warm to lukewarm peel oh that was fast okay I'm scared. Pull it aside. Let's see what we have here. Take this out. And it looks beautiful, but I can't. Okay. So it's totally on, but we gotta take off the carrier sheet. So I'm gonna turn this off because we don't need it right now. Okay, I'm gonna put it aside. And I wish I had one of those cold stones. It's supposed to cool it down, but when you don't have that, I'm gonna shake it, <laughs> cool it down. And then, let's see if this peels. Oh yeah, it's peeling off. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And you can see like when I'm peeling this off, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm sort of pulling it up a little bit, right? Like it's, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Um, so I want to do a quick press right after it, just with the Teflon sheet, just to make sure that it is down. Oh my God, it's a gorgeous sweatshirt. I can't wait to show you so Sorry, I'm still peeling, I'm still peeling. Oh my gosh. It is so beautiful. I am, oh my gosh, so excited about this. Okay. So excited about the hack. So excited about this HTV. <gasps> oh, I, you can see it. I can see it up there. Um, sorry, what is this blue? Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to put this back a little bit. 
I'm going to put the Teflon sheet on top so it doesn't burn the material, but you can feel it, or you can see me feeling it. There's nothing sticking up, but because I kind of pulled away from it, I want to just press it for a little bit longer and get it really down. And we'll hold it. I turned it off, so it, sh it should be fine. Um, so yeah, yes, it works. Oh. <laughs> um, and I got to talk to you about all those things. So um, thank you for staying and sticking around. I hope you enjoy the fundraiser that we put together for next month. Um, I think it's a great cause. And also I hope so, you know, someone's going to win some really cool prizes. But even if you don't, um, I hope that you stick with me with Together We Rise and David and Polytape to see what else we come up with for the rest of the year. We've got so much planned. So I'm super excited about all that. All right, I'm gonna pull this up, put it aside, pull this out, and yay. I'm gonna not put it on though. I'm just gonna show you. Oh my gosh, it's so shimmery, it's so pretty. Yay. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.